Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be installing Chromium version 54 on Microsoft's Windows 2000 operating system. Some people may think, well wait, what's the purpose of installing Chromium 54 on Windows 2000? Well, as you may or may not know, Internet Explorer 6 cannot run newer websites, and not many web browsers support Windows 2000. In fact, I don't think there's any mainstream browsers that still support this 20-year-old operating system. So in this video, we're going to be installing the latest version that I could get running on Windows 2000, which was Chromium 54. Before I begin this video, I would like to give all credit to Aperture Sketch on Reddit for posting this on the Windows subreddit. I asked them for permission to make a video on this, and they said yes. So full credit goes to them. So full credit it goes to them for creating this and discovering this. They have a full tutorial here with, as well as all the downloads needed, so I'll make sure to link this in the description below. But with that being said, Chromium version 54 does allow us to run most modern websites on Windows 2000. Now I highly don't recommend doing this for a day-to-day -day web browser, just for something fun to experiment with. It's definitely a little bit interesting, so without any further ado, let's get to that. There's three things we need to do before we install Chromium. One is make sure that we have Service Pack 4 installed. So going ahead and opening up Winver here, we can see that I already installed an ISO with Windows 2000 Service Pack 4. So we're good on that end. Next, we have to install the 2017 root updates. I'll show you that in a little bit, but for right now, that's just kind of a checklist. And the last thing we need is to have the latest version of Kernel X installed. This extends the Windows kernel and allows Windows XP programs to run on Windows 2000. That's all that the original Reddit poster said about this. However, in my version, maybe it's just a version of Windows 2000 that I need. I needed this file. This is an IE6 OSP1. This is an update to IE6 that allowed kernel X to run and install. In here, I have the advanced Chrome version, which is the version that the Reddit poster recommended. I have Windows 2000. This is kernel X. This is the 2017 root update. This is the IE6 update, and this is the extracted version of Advanced Chrome. All of these downloads will be in the description. Some of these I downloaded from the Reddit website. Some of them I downloaded from another source because the media fire links were down, such as Advanced Chrome. And IE6 was not on that list, so I downloaded this separately. So all links will be in the description. The first thing that we're going to do is install the root updates. These 2017 root updates will basically update certain parts of the operating system to 2017, which allows us to install kernel X. And just like that, the root updates of September 17 were installed. There is no UI, it just extracted and installed to the operating system. You'll notice that if we try to run the Windows 2000 kernel X, we'll see an error. As we can see here, it's a very interesting error. It requires IE6 SP1 cumulative security updates or later. In order to bypass that error, we of course have the IE6 cumulative security update. So we're going to go ahead and open this and install it. Here we can see this is just a standard website, Windows 2000 hotfix. We can go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions, and it's going to update the software on the computer. This IE6 update is required to install Kernel X because as I showed earlier, it didn't work. I tried multiple other versions of Kernel X, however, they didn't work, so this update was found. Surprisingly, I couldn't find this file anywhere on the internet, except when I googled its exact name, I found a random Google Drive link that basically appointed us to this file. That download will be linked in the description. Now we can click finish and allow our computer to restart so then we can install kernel X. Now that we've restarted back into Windows 2000, we've of course officially installed the 2017 root updates as well as the IE6 cumulative update. Now we have to install the Windows 2000 kernel X. This is the biggest part of getting Chrome to run on Windows 2000. This extends the kernel, as I said earlier, to allow Windows XP and I think maybe even Vista apps to run on an older Windows 2000 version. So this isn't only limited to Chrome, it's just that I've only tried it on Google Chrome. Once everything has extracted, we'll get this extended kernel options. Here we don't have to change any settings whatsoever, everything is completely the way it needs to be. All these NT5, 5.81, whatever. So we can go ahead and click execute. Explorer is going to go ahead and terminate itself, and then a CMD window will pop up, which will then launch the installer. Here we can see a very similar installer to the one that we saw on the IE6 cumulative update. We can go ahead and click continue, I agree, and allow Windows 2000 to update the kernel. Now, if you're doing this on a real machine, which I doubt anyone is, but if you are, this could damage your Windows 2000 installation as it is modifying the kernel itself, so just be warned about that. Now we can go ahead and click Finish, and again, Windows 2000 and the whole computer is going to restart. But once Windows 2000 restarts, we'll be able to launch Chrome. 
Now kernel X has installed on our Windows 2000 VM. So all that's left to do is open Google Chrome, right? Well, that's wrong. Once we unzip Advanced Chrome version 54, there's two more things we need to do. Number one is open up the unzipped file and find chrome.exe. We need to make a shortcut of this, so we can go ahead and make a shortcut and drag that onto our desktop. Now on this shortcut, we can open up properties. Right here where it says target, we need to add a command at the end of this. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the two dashes, no dash sandbox. This will allow Chrome version 54 to run. We can click apply and okay. Now, let's double click on our shortcut to Chrome. We will get an error that says Chromium requires Windows XP or later. Some features may not work, but we can click OK. Once we click OK, here we are. We're now running Google Chrome version 54 on Windows 2000. Now, obviously, it's not the most responsive thing in the world, but we can still browse modern websites. In fact, here I'm expecting to see the Google logo right about now. And while we were trying to launch Chrome for the first time, it crashed. In my testing earlier, Chromium actually did crash, and in fact the entire system pretty much crashed, so we have to go ahead and restart Windows 2000. After the first crash, for me in my testing, it worked perfectly fine. Now that Chrome has crashed one time and we've restarted the machine, let's go ahead and try to open Chrome again. Once again, we'll see the error that Chrome requires Windows XP or later, but we can go ahead and click OK and bypass that. Now we should be brought into a Google Chrome window where it says Chromium didn't shut down correctly. At this point in my testing, Chrome was actually stable and it worked. And there we go, Google has successfully loaded inside of Windows 2000. Now even though this is an older version, being Chromium version 54, this does run most modern websites, albeit it's very slow, considering that it's running on Windows 2000 and Windows 2000 is an older version. But we can just go ahead and go to stuff like google.com and we can see that it'll load perfectly fine, albeit, like I said, it does take a little bit longer because it's an older operating system. But once it gets the hang of it, I mean, everything works. It loads. It's got mostly the same font. Google doesn't have that square search box. It's just rounded. Um, and it works. It looks like it's running on Windows XP. And it just works. So we can go to something like discord.com and we can see while it does, like I said, while it does lag, it works and that's all that matters. And so here we can see while the Discord website is still loading, most of the UI elements are here. I obviously wouldn't log into this as Chromium 54 is older and so is Windows 2000 and those obviously have their own software security flaws. But as for actually loading websites, it runs pretty well. So I would not use this as my daily web browser as it is slow. And because this is older Chromium and older 2000, like I said, you're more susceptible to viruses and malware attacks. So simply put it, I would recommend updating your operating system and using a newer web browser. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos. And make sure to check out the original Reddit post in the description below.